We're back with The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll look at the scarcity of the new Naira note as we inch closer to the deadline. Now, with few weeks to the deadline given by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, for the use of this old Naira note, a cross-section of Nigerians have complained and lamented the scarcity of the note. Don't forget that CBN had stipulated, uh, stipulated January the 31st, 2023, as uh, you know, the deadline for issuance and circulation of 200 Naira note, 500 and 1,000 uh, denomination of the country's currency following the introduction of the new note uh, in January the 4th, 2023. Now, uh, some Nigerians across the country said that, you know, this scarcity is because, uh, you know, the government is not sincere. There are too many issues. They have criticized the uh, government of Buhari and uh, the fact that a lot has been spent, 218 billion naira. But uh, let's just quickly uh, invite our guests this morning. Let's see how, what we can make of this issue, uh, the circumstance that we're faced with, and what could be responsible for all of this. We do have Ambrose Igboke joining us this morning. Thank you so much for being part of the show. He's a public affairs analyst. Good morning and happy new year. Happy new year to you, Ambrose. Uh, quickly, what do you think is responsible for the scarcity of the new Naira note? Firstly, uh, the CBN was not ready for, for this. Um, the announcement from the CBN for change of the Naira note seems like... Um, an accidental decision. Uh, it came from the blues. Uh, Nigerians were not prepped up for it. Nigerians were not intimated uh, ahead of it. There were no enough um, orientation and sensitization of Nigeria. There were no even advocacy. The CBA, before bringing us all shoes, was supposed to say advocacy to some key stakeholders like financial institutions. Uh, like um, uh, uh, professional bodies, like the uh, accounting bodies, taxation bodies, stake, um, stock brokers, uh, community leaders. There are no engagements. For if something as such as monumental as uh, redesigning of uh, your currency, a lot of stakeholder engagements and advocacy is needed. That was not done. It was not done with everybody. Um, the gov governor of the central bank just woke up one day and did a press conference and told us that we are going to change our Naira notes. Uh, that was not even the, uh, as bad as the, uh, you know, the duration at which Nigerians were given. It was like a, um, a do or die affair, uh, giving us just uh, a few weeks to change all the old Naira notes and giving us a deadline of January 31st to uh, uh, ban the use of the old Naira notes. It's so draconian. It's so um, as if there is something more to it than uh, the anti-corruption or the other reasons that the CBN has touted. If it is for altruistic reasons, why are you making Nigerians suffer? Why are you making Nigerians uh, trying to exchange their money uh, so in such a short time? Even Britain, that I said that they will, uh, you know, to bring the new pound note that should uh, take the pick picture of the new king, I gave like a period of like three years for it to phase out the old ones that has the queen, queen's uh, uh, picture. Uh, a country like the U.S. and uh, other countries were trying to emulate by the so-called cashless economy. No, no economy is cashless. So when I hear about cashless economy, cashless transactions and all those things, there's no economy in the world that is cashless. All, we, all they try to do all over the world is try to reduce the amount of cash transactions because they have good um, internet. Internet has penetrated almost everywhere in the country there. They have good systems in terms of financial systems. They have so many alternatives uh, for payment platforms. But here, what do we have? We do not have much. Then, you are not just redesigning the uh, Naira notes. You came out with some outrageous policies of cash withdrawals and uh, deposits. So, uh, you know, it's not so true. And uh, this is very much akin to this CBN governor. It seems to be, in my opinion, one of the worst CBN governors we have had in the last 30 years. I mean, his forces come as if they don't, you know, from, you withdrew, okay, look at the dollar um, uh, withdrawal to $20. Then you come again with, uh, you clamp down on cryptocurrency, saying that they are the ones that makes uh, the FX go up. You come up with all kinds of excuses. 
Then this CBN governor was the one that went ahead to print posters, uh, and branded vehicles that he was going to contest for presidential election uh, uh, while he was still a sit sitting CBN governor. And yet, uh, nothing has happened to him. Uh, so it, it, it's, it, you know, it's uh, it wonder of the world why he's still there as CBN governor in the first place and why he's trying to put Nigerians through this suffering. The new Nigerian laws have come. You're still not making it available. 31st December is three weeks, um, January is three weeks away. The new Nigerian laws are not made available. You, you are still circulating the old Nigerian laws that you say people should return. People have made efforts to return their money to the banks and are still returning the old notes. And the uh, automated teller machines, the ATM machines, the POS service providers, and everybody are still, uh, is still uh, you know, paying with the old Naira notes. I have not even laid my eyes on the old Naira notes. Okay. Because when you go to the banks, you are still giving the old, old, old notes. So the new Naira notes, where are they? Who is holding, holding them back? And you are giving Nigerians a deadline that is impossible, yet you are not distributing. The bank said they have not received, most of the banks said they have not received it. Because I have engagements with the tellers and or even people in the book room and other places. I say, why are we not getting around? They say they have not, the CBN has not given them the notes. So what exactly is the children hoping to achieve? I think it's only them that can explain this kind of policy. Hmm. Well, um, could the fear of the CBN being probed by the National <clears throat> Assembly uh, following the extent law guiding the printing of the new notes be responsible for the scarcity of, uh, you know, th this currency. Well, that is why I said the, uh, Mr. Godwin and Mefele, uh, he, 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 he has disappointed us as the, the CBN governor. He has not played his role as the CBN governor because if he does, he has a legal department. He has advisors. Unless they advised him or uh, told him the application, I didn't listen because, I don't know, as somehow there's kind of power you get, you think uh, that you are touchable. Uh, this is what is happening. Because this, before you redesign the Naira notes and change it, you must consult with the National Assembly. He didn't do that. He felt that he owed nobody any apology. And these are the kind of uh, grandstanding of public officers that, uh, that, that is very disappointing about our Nigerian system. Therefore, the National Assembly should hold him to task and ensure that he does the right thing or that uh, a deadline is extended to a, a, a reasonable period of time. And also, the quality of the Naira notes should be checked because. There are complaints from quarters and video demonstrations that suggest the fact that the, uh, the new Naira note is, uh, you know, the uh, ink imprinted in the new Naira notes comes off when it is in contact with water. So we, uh, those have not been, you know, verified yet, whether it's fake note or the real new Naira note. But all these things should be investigated and the Nigerians should not suffer for what, uh, for, uh, 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 you know, something that they don't know about, something that was not thought through, something that was just placed on them and uh, we shouldn't be suffering in 2023. This is an election year. This is a year where we should be more focused and not be distracted by these antics of the CBN governor. Well, so, so but do you foresee a situation where we will discard uh, this new Naira uh, because of the challenges surrounding it, the issue of circulation, uh, different issues, and what have you? If you ask me, the first question is, what is, what is even wrong with the old Naira notes? The reasons that they're giving, oh, some people are stocking it, some people are using it to exchange uh, uh, money, some people are uh, using it to do fraud, some people are using it to do uh, terrorism and the rest. Now, if you, that was the case, if, uh, the CBN policy would have ended and the cash withdrawal limits. We have policies in this country that if you want to transfer beyond central limits of money, that the bank should contact the financial uh, institutions for example, EFCC and the rest. What has happened to that policy? Why would people transfer huge amounts of money without being tracked? The ones that have been tracked by foreign agencies, what have they done to them? So there are policies in place that make sure that even uh, limitations on withdrawal, if you have shrunk the, uh, the amount to be you know, withdrawn uh, per week, then that should be able to you know, curtail uh, the reasons why uh, you are doing, uh, changing the Naira design in the first place. But bringing two of them at the same time smacks of something that was not thought through. So uh, if it will save Nigerians the stress, if it will save uh, our economy from collapsing, if it will bring controlled hardship for Nigerians, then I'm in support of withdrawing this uh, Naira notes. Because even when you change the, when you check the design, 
there was there's not much you know, there's not much difference between what is existing and what has been introduced i can see the new security features uh, they just uh, a change of uh, color is it, the main thing that people see there change of color what are the features what are the security features that distinguishes this between the other so um it's it is not something that is palatable uh, it's not something that even grow the economy it's just an exercise in uh, I, I don't know uh, in um, uh, in the winds of the Syrian governor. So, but um, I'd also like to ask, you know, with all of the back and forces going on, people complaining about the standard of, uh, or the quality, that would be the word, the quality of this note, and the fact that it's not available, are there implication of all of this? Is there an implication for our economy? What impact does it have? Uh, the, the uh, immediate impact is already, uh, you know, manifesting, which is a slowing down transactions. There are a, a lot of instances where people are rejecting uh, the new Naira notes because there were not enough sensitization. That is already a big problem because for a legal tender to be effective, it has to be accepted by the citizens. So when a large chunk of the citizens, especially the unbanked citizens, do not even realize that we have a new Naira note, uh, then there's a problem. It's a big problem. It would slow down the economy. If you go to the major markets, open markets in Nigeria, uh, if you go to the my 12 markets of this world, or also the markets, or uh, Dumata and all those things where cash is being used, then you will find, you exactly understand what we are talking about. This uh, market generates billions of Naira every day. And if this new currency is being rejected by majority of the traders, then you can see how much we are losing in just like two or three markets alone. Extrapolate this into many markets uh, around Nigeria, then you understand the sheer volume of how much we are losing per day. So it will affect the economy. Uh, it will surely, surely affect the economy. The biggest problem is that it's not even available to be spent. At least when you see, uh, when you see it every day and people are getting to spend it, gradually to be accepted by those who are not even heard about it or have been informed of it. But when it is not even seen, it's still scarce, then there's a problem. Uh, why will you redesign an IRA note and make it scarce? Even three weeks to the deadline, you yourself created. So that smacks of, uh, of uh, I, I, I would like to curtail my word here, but I'm really, really angry about this. And so with, I'm angry with so many Nigerians that a, a public servant that is being paid by taxpayers' money wants to subject us on necessary hardship. Hmm. And, and do you also think that this would have any implication on the dollar in terms of depreciation? It doesn't have any implication. Dollar is still, is still running at the open, open market uh, where it is for a long time. Uh, these are people just come out and make policies uh, and make statements that have no reading in economics. If you are, if you are not a producing economy, if you like, redesign your Naira and paint it 10 times in a month, it will not change your value. The value is intricate on the, on, on the value of exports you do. What, what are, we, are we a production economy? We're a consumption economy. You buy almost everything. And you, want your, you think by redesigning the color of your, of your currency will change your value of your Naira? I, I, I think even those of us who are not experts in economics can't think this, uh, this in an elementary manner. So people should stop fooling us by statements that don't add up in economics. Mm. And uh, as we cross this down, Ambrose, uh, there are also other, you know, quarters that are saying that it might also be a ploy of the ruling class, that some persons have touched, you know, these funds. We, we don't know if that's the case. There's also some people who say that if you want to see the narrow note, uh, then go to the parties. You see, you get to find these bundles. Because when you go to parties, you see people flaunting, uh, the notes, and then they tell you if you probably want to, I don't know how to describe that kind of trade that goes on in the parties, but that's what it is. Uh, what, what do you make to all of these insinuations? When you create artificial scarcity, when you create a problem, when you just recreate a problem from, uh, from a non-existent problem, this is what you get. First of all, when this uh, madness about buying mint, mint uh, notes starts, it started when the CBN refused to take, you know, uh, destroy uh, bad Naira notes from and then mop it away from the system. Before, the, uh, for, uh, prior to maybe the 90s and uh, even in the early millennium, 
Uh, when banks, when you have 30 Naira notes, you take it to the bank. Then you exchange it for a clean, for clean Naira note, mint notes. When you go to the bank those days, you actually get, you come out with mint Naira notes. Because when you get, get your money back to bank, you're supposed to go and then they're supposed to do what they uh, process the dirty Naira notes, they destroy it. Uh, Nigeria Security Maintaining Company destroys this Naira note and they make sure that our notes are healthy and hygienic. But over the last 15, 10, 15 years, what we have witnessed are that the banks themselves have said that the CBN and the Nigeria Security Maintaining Company does not, do not collect uh, uh, dirty Naira notes anymore or bad Naira notes from them. So what you have is that the bad Naira notes and the dirty ones keep on you know, circulating when they are supposed to have been destroyed. And then, then create a scarcity of mint notes. So what do people do? Because our people like spending in parties in mint Naira notes. Those days was not a big deal because when you go to the bank, you, the money you are paid was mint. And then it became a commodity for sale in the recent times because people want clean notes and then if you want to collect 20,000, for example, the, the cashier in a, a, will tell you, uh, bring uh, 26,000 or bring so so amount. So it became a transaction. Some people will even hawk it in parties. Uh, you, you wonder how the lay person on the street gets access to huge bundle of Naira notes and start hawking it. Maybe this withdrawal limit, we, 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 we reduce it. But even announcement of withdrawal limit, when it starts, you'll find out that people will still be having access to huge bundles of Naira notes. But when the Naira notes are available, if you walk into the bank, and you can access it. Uh, we, we, we would patronize those who work mint Naira notes. So mm. to solve this problem, it's either we withdraw this new Naira notes that is not adding value to anybody, or we extend with uh, maybe six months the, uh, the duration by which you can exchange the Naira, new Naira notes and the old ones. And then that will perhaps will make some sense and give Nigeria some apple time to adjust to the new reality. All right, thank you so much, Ambrose Ipoke, for being part of the show this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. And that's the size of our conversation on The Breakfast, uh, who is speaking with a public affairs analyst looking at the scarcity of the new Naira note and the fact that we're just counting down to the 31st of January. What's going to happen? Will the government withdraw it? Will we have an extension of, uh, you know, a period to have this currency in circulation? If you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's fine to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Popo. Have a great morning.